This is a big bed. Look, the two of us on it. Oh, look at us. Welcome to our channel. Get away from <laughs> me because you're sick. She just has to us for like the fourth time this year. If people still follow me after this, I don't know why because I literally am like such a loser. 54, P37.55, and it was one by. So feral. We just went a little bit crazy in Nike. We, as in I did, and Alma was really good with her money. <laughs> I want to show when we get back to our motel what I got because the deals were really good. So I'm stressed because I didn't start vlogging. I was like, I won't vlog. And then I told Alma, and that girl was staring at me. And I feel like you should have. And then I started having major regrets, so I'm <laughs> starting now. So we're Never too in late. Canberra DFO, and we've come to race in the Queen Bean Gift tomorrow. Kit Kane. And yeah, so we just came to like spend our money because DFO actually is really good. I'm fully vlogging in public right now. You never do this. No, this is a fat yellow. Do you know why I don't care? Because we're in Canberra and like, no I don't know anyone. Me. So I'm on my phone right now because I brought my camera but left it in the car thinking like, I'm not gonna do this. This is so ugly. I have to stop. I have regrets because I, I got the mintest feed for lunch. It was like falafels and chickpeas and salad and hummus and it was so good. And I ate it and it's gone, so I can't show it, so that's cool. Right. Jokes, I found this clip from my Instagram. Yum! We left home at like 10 and it's kind of really nice to be able to see the blue sky because the smoke in Sydney has been so bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we were both going crazy before a night when we first got here. We, we were here ages ago. We've already shopped here. But I came back to buy a pair of spikes because on the way here, I discovered that my spikes were like broken. So trying on spikes currently. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Adding it to... Wait, you said put this into your thing? I want you to put these on. Oh. I really don't like people who wear this style of sunnies. We are leaving DFO. Dad's really sad because he loves being in DFO. <laughs> Joking, Dad's a legend and waits while we shop. Bye, DFO. You were lit as always. And it's not DFO anymore. No, it's always DFO. To say when we're having lunch, I got a message from my agent. I also signed with a modeling agent. Finally, so excited! I posted my contract in the mail this morning. I got a text from my agent saying, Hi, would you be able to do an overseas shoot next weekend in Dubai? And I was like, I was freaking out. I was like, I'm so freaking out, but it's like, it's not, they're just putting me through for it, so I don't have it. But I was just like, Oh my gosh, like, wouldn't that be the coolest thing ever? Yeah. So there's yet another bushfire burning up there. The country is literally on fire right now. It's very sad and scary. Yeah. is on the right. Banger. It's Queen Railway Station. This is cool. This is a little bit historical. Off, I'm going home. Bye, Alma. There's two trains a day. Classy. <laughs> it's cheap. Exactly, it's good. It's air conditioned, it's comfortable, that's all it's want. I can't even. Okay, we're in number 17. Don't know if that's a lucky number or not. Hi, Dad, Alma. Hello. So we have this beautiful little room with a king bed and oh we could fit bed. like eight people in here this is huge this could fit three people That's this could fit four people <laughs> this is a big bed look the two of us on it oh look at us welcome to our channel get away <laughs> from me because you're sick she just has <laughs> slide us for like the fourth time this year 
and they still won't take our tonsils out. Yeah, okay, we're guns. <laughs> we literally did like 100 push ups every day all of last week. You should show them how good we are at push ups. Let's go. I yeah, can do it. You can't really see. I can do it on the bed. Shoes though. My shoes are still on. We'll do it okay. later. I'll, we'll do a clip and I'll put it in here. This is how good we are at push ups. We actually have to look amazing at them. Okay. So, see, like. Yeah, we know we're cringe, but we also love ourselves and hate ourselves at the same time. Juxtaposition. No, there was no juxtaposition. Ironic? No. Dad, what's a word when you... Contradictive. When you love something and hate something at the same time. I think it's contradictive. <laughs> I was just like, this is silent. I'm just like, I was trying not to cough. And we also can do Rockies. If people still follow me after this, I don't know why, because I literally am like, such a loser. <laughs> such a loser. I can probably do like two or three Rockies right now. Yeah. Ain't ready for this jelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. What the fuck? Okay. I'm always stressed. Okay, so. I love the smell of motels. Like, they just remind me of my childhood. Please don't feel me looking. I look like a wanker. <laughs> I love the smell of motels. Like, I know it smells a little bit like even RSLs. It smells like kind of like cigarette smoke, and I don't smoke cigarettes or condone that. But it just, it literally just smells like small family Aussie trips. Like, you know, RSLs, oh. how they smell like. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it smells like childhood, kind of. But you know, when you go into an RSL and it smells like. I don't know, like not nice, but it also smells amazing because it smells like, I don't know, childhood. Like when you'd had like netball prezos and stuff and you would just all run around, like all the kids. Anyway, let's finish this room tour. So we have the fridge. We're going to go and stock up on some stuff. Microwave, mirror. Me next to my midget friend. I'm kidding. <laughs> and then the bathroom. This is actually beautiful for how much did we pay? Uh, look how long my hair's grown. You know what I was like to myself the other day? Same. I'm so proud of myself because I haven't cut my hair for that it's long. So pretty. I mean, it's kind of dead, but thank you. Appreciate it. Like, look at that. Lol. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Alma <laughs> was like, we were trying on um, matching stuff in Nike, and then we were just like, look at us. And then she was like, look at my triceps. And then we we're both just standing there flexing for like so stupid. 10 minutes. <laughs> YOLO. Oh wait, there's also a window that's closed. Wow, okay, wow. I really need to redo this whole tour. No, it was bad lighting. <laughs> I just opened the curtain so it looks much nicer. Okay, we are just unpacking. Brought some peanut butter. Brought oats for tomorrow. I brought almond milk as well for us. Brought some bananas, nectarines, some apples. Bananas. Dad had a vegan lunch today. Falafel. Yeah, hummus and falafels. I love hummus. We now the light's hummus. not up. Oh my gosh, hummus. And I brought carrots. We Ooh. can have carrots and hummus. That does not agree. <laughs> okay, okay um, fun fact. The reason I have a retainer, I haven't had braces before, but I have a retainer because my teeth started to move and I didn't want them to move and be, like my mum yeah. had straight teeth when she was my age and then they moved and she had to get braces when she was 50 and I knew they were going to move. So the retainer to like prevent it. Yeah. That's so mad. Did you have braces? Yeah, I had them for two years. These bottom ones used to be so crooked and this one used to be flipped. Oh, tomato had like over flipped teeth. But like, like the thing okay. is they said they might have they to have take to out. Okay, so why my social family are on their phones, I thought I'll do a little this is what I got at the shops today. My okay. ex PE teacher's texting me right now. Creepy, but not really, because I'm also best mates with my PE teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real though, who doesn't have like a legendary PE teacher? PE teachers are cool at every school, I think. Okay, so from Nike. Okay, I just want to say, yes, I know I can be a slave to capitalism and I will get better. And also these were a really good deal. <laughs> these shorts are normally 40. And they were 25 plus 30 percent off again. So we both wanted these and they I only saw. had them <laughs> once and she picked them up first. So I got another pair, but they were like fugly. It was so ugly. <laughs> okay, we both got this crop top. It was literally on sale for $21. <coughs> Canberra DFO is like lit. I got this. Um, the RRP is 85 and I got oh. it for like, I don't know, 20 or 30. 
This was like 20 again. This was 14, 14 dollars. And now I am gonna try and not spend money money ever again, as I always say when I accidentally spend money too much. But yeah. So Nike Nike DFO is really good. And then I was so proud of myself, I didn't get anything else, like from other shops. And then on the way here I noticed that my spots were like literally broken. My racing shoes are like falling apart. So I was like, if randomly Nike DFO have spikes, maybe I could get a pair. And do you know what randomly they had? <laughs> spikes, so I got these. They only had like four pairs and these fit me. And the best bit was they were marked down to 80 from $220. He's seen it because I got like fat shit skin. That lady over there, her back's turned right now so you can look. And she went like this, she was like... Well, this is my response to her. Alma's sick vlog cam. Hello, I'm very sick right now. We're in Coles and Imi's getting all of her tuna. Oh my god, it's pronounced tuna, not tuna. tuna. It's pronounced with a U, not an O-O-N. <laughs> I said this is Alma's sick vlog cam. Because I'm sick. <laughs> Oh my god. Fully sick. Oh, okay. We Fully sick. <laughs> Bye. Oh, wow. Okay. We just went to the shops to go buy a whole bunch of snacks for tomorrow. Because we're literally racing. There's like heats, semis, finals all day. Like, we're just racing all day. So, we're just going to be having snacks. And then we were like, we don't, we need like proper food. Hummus. Oh, hummus. Hummus, carrots. I got some tuna, some microwave, rice, and quinoa. And we we're gonna go and get like dinner out, but then we were like, let's be really budgety. Dad's like a budget queen. So Dad's like, let's be really budgety. <laughs> and we have a microwave, so there's a fridge. So we were like, let's just buy heaps of microwave brown rice and tins of tuna slash salmon. So we did that, and then a bunch of veggies, and we're just gonna be heaps budgety. So go oh, up. So this is just our little love. coconut water, just athlete life, slash healthy people life. My favorite thing. I'm just hiding her noodles. <laughs> I'm sick. I've been watching Orange is the New Black, so I just see like commissary when I see this. If anyone watches new is Orange is the New Black, they would kind of understand me. <laughs> okay, these are the matching sports bras we got. How cool is the back with all the tags? Um, we got it on sale from what was the original price? Like 60 or something, 50? We got it for like 20. So yeah. Okay, also this tape here is because I have a mild adductor longus strain. Not really sure how that happened, but been seeing my physio. She taped this up on Monday. It, like it's literally Friday and I'm just gonna leave it for tomorrow because it's fine. So like YOLO. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. <laughs> We're gonna look gangsta at training. <laughs> okay, yours is so much better than mine. <laughs> like so a weak bitch. I've been like doing heaps of push-ups for like a few years now though. I haven't. I can't Your arms are not weak at all, mate. You look gone. Sometimes when I tense, I'm like, I look kind of manly. Like, my arms are too big. <laughs> my mum's always like, don't get... Though, don't. I, have, I sort of have cords. My mum's always like, don't get any bigger. And I'm like, mum, I'm not going to focus on how I look. Your quads are gone. Yeah, my mum was like, don't get bigger. And I was like, I'm not... If I have to get bigger by doing more push-ups, like I'm trying to get stronger, then I'm going to get bigger. Like I'm not doing it to look a good way. I'm trying to just be stronger and faster. Oh yeah. I'm a sick vlog here. Hello, I'm back. Imogen hurt her eye. I got soap in it. I hope I don't go blind or I hope my eyelashes don't fall off. So she's putting frozen peas on them and corn. Dinner. Dinner. On dinner. Her dinner on her eye. I have a dilemma right now. <clears throat> I can't choose between the avo chips mm -hmm. and the pomegranate chips. That Imogen brought for me to try. My opinion is the pomegranate chips because they're chili and lime flavor and I like it better. I'll probably try them then. So but I'm gonna do that. No, because I've had these before and I can have these tomorrow. I can yeah. save them. Oh my god, do I sound like an actual like grandma right now? I think um, when girls' voices are low and raspy, it's hot. Raspy? Is that the word? She thinks I'm hot. No, I don't think you're hot. I think voices like that. I'm kidding. Alright, I'm gonna head out. No, I look like a potato. No, this angle's not working. Oh well. Okay, tomorrow we're racing in the Queen Bean Gift. And I feel like I should say what a gift is. Gifts are like, they you race for money. So the biggest gift is the store gift. And basically it's like, there's I'm entered in two 120s. 
and a 300. Alma's doing the women's 120 and the 300. Thoughts on the chips? Thought there'd be more flavor to them. So you like the other ones now? Yeah. Oh, but they're still sorry. good. No, they're still good. <sighs> Your voice is hot right now, by the way. Same. Anyway, so the gift is basically like based on times, you get a handicap and it's like if you're really fast, you have to run the whole distance. If you're a bit slower, you get to start in front and whoever wins gets money and a sash. And they're like pretty big events. There's a couple thousand dollars on the line, so that's what we're doing tomorrow. So, right. okay, I'm so proud of this budget dinner. The things you can do in the microwave: frozen veggies. We've just microwaved. We got brown rice packets that just microwave salad. Veggies, lettuce, and then there's um, a whole bunch of tinned fish. Just having so a green good. juice to hopefully get healthy again. <laughs> As in, like, she's <laughs> sick, not. <laughs> <coughs> um, yeah, I have one more. Dinner time! <laughs> oh, that's nice, the lighting. Alright, we're just having some chamomile tea. Cheers. Cheers. And watching the live stream of Australian North Schools. Featuring Tamisha. <laughs> okay, we're literally watching one of our training partners, Little Ivy. She's a legend in the 800 at Nationals. I'm literally going to record. Come on, Ivy. Come on. Go, Ivy. Go, girl. This is Ivy. She's coming second right now. Good morning, guys. It's race morning and we just woke up. Alma's eating some wheat bix. I don't think it's focusing. Dad's here, learning some Spanish. I did not have a good night's sleep, no offense dad. He kind of snored like a mountain troll. <laughs> My foot's really sore. My foot that was injured still gets really sore. So two years later, I'm just trying to get into it and massage it and hope it pulls through. Look how cute our little setup is. We're just outside our little motel room i'm having my brekkie i just got my oats as usual made in the microwave with almond milk chia seeds maca powder mavis peanut butter nectarine and banana and i made a tea and alma's having her tea such a vibe that looks so good that looks so tasty hi dad Wait. like it's not like it's Prize money, prize money in I'm the 2019 Queen Meet Emma, she's a legend. If uh, competitors <laughs> for the first piece. Thank you, I'm just going to do one more side of this. Oh, it's so good. Okay, with Black, Blue got up for second there, Tucker. Caitlin Hanna ran third in the pick, 7.55 the time. So he, number 2, 754. P3 7.55 and it was won by Lee from Tucker and Hannah. Okay. Leads Russell, then the Jagger in the black, Sharma in the white, then Lee in blue and Farlo in the red. Out in front though, we have the Jagger leading and he kicks, trying to run him down. Lee, the Jagger with too big a kick. He held him up. Okay, so I'm in public, so I'm going to just try to keep this short. So the girls are doing their warm up for their 120 final. So in the semi, I made the semi and then I just ran so slow. My camera's about to die. I've been having random snacks throughout the day. I'm currently eating nectarine and some rice and quinoa that was microwaved earlier. Anyway, after my 120, I, I lost it. I cried and cried in the bathroom and I just felt so depressed. I messaged my coach and I was like, I don't know how long I can keep doing this, like running and feeling so slow, being flogged by people. I was faster then, and I don't care if they're faster than me. I just want to be where I was at and not feel hopeless. And anyway, 
I just cried. She, my coach said, look, I'm making the decision as your coach to stop racing until you're mentally and physically ready. We don't know how long it'll be. It could be a few months, it could be longer, but we're just going to, you know, train. And then when you're ready, we'll race. And it, it, you're young, it's gonna be fine. And I was like, okay. Anyway, so I had the 300 final, no, semi, no, heat, the 300 heat left. And I was like, I'll just do it. And I finally did a run that felt nice because that, it's my distance. It was longer. I felt more capable and strong. I think my dad might have videoed it. I'll include it if he did, but I made the final, so. Oh, best back leads Russell. Pete there is running, uh, running on nicely. Uh, there followed by uh, back through the field. Uh, back through the field there would have been Imogen Russell in the pink. About 10 metres back there running on now is uh, Jenna Heath. She's trying to make up some ground. The mark Go Emmy! Go Imogen! Black white runner not given to me. On her outside goes the pink. Okay, my camera just died, so that's why this looks amazing now. Also, it's a really good angle because I'm trying to be a bit sly. But yes, yeah, so I'm in the 300 final and the girls are in the 120 final. So we all have our finals and they both are guns and I think we're going to go one and two. Get the money because you obviously win money and gifts. So that's really exciting. They're so fast. I have been so emotional today. So yeah, so I found out from my coach I'm just not going to race at all. I'm not going to keep racing while I keep feeling depressed from it and like really heartbroken. And she was like, let's just train and when you're mentally and physically ready, we'll go out and do it again. And I was like, okay. So I felt so emotional because I was just thinking to myself, this is my last race for a while now. I don't know how long a while is. It could be three months, it could be eight, who knows. But so I ran, I didn't go full out because I knew I was, I midway through the race, I was like, I'm gonna final. You just had to come top four to final. So I ended up second in my heat. And yeah, so I'll see how the final goes. I'm gonna try my hardest and really push myself, but I felt really good doing a 300 because my distance is 400. I just felt so much more strong and like at home and comfortable. But yeah. Yeah, so this might be my last race for a little bit. Exciting, but sad, but also, uh, I don't know. I'm just so emotional. It looks fine, but this is how pretty the location is. Emma, I have my bets on. She's gonna win this 120, but no pressure, no pressure. Yeah, like, no just have pressure. fun. I yeah, we look so pretty. We're <laughs> finishing the vlog now. We're on the way home. Oh, we're both very dead. Alma, especially, has been sick and she's cooked, and I feel cooked. I was really emotional today as well, and we just spent the whole day running in the sun. We ended up getting a little bit of money, so Alma won. $200 from coming fourth in the women's 120 gift. I got 30 bucks <laughs> from coming six in the 300 gift. And that was cool. <laughs> I'm feeling really, really shot. So basically the whole day was just running between events, having some snacks and then running. We're eating now. Got some rice and quinoa and veggies and hummus. Um, so yeah, so I felt really, really sad just really down after my short sprints just because I know there were some really nice people and they were like look you're coming back from injury it's hard you got to hang in there and it's still within you keep believing it was really nice to have that and I was messaging my coach and she was basically like she was like you know making the call as your coach I don't want you to race until you're physically and mentally ready so we don't know I was like how long is that gonna be and she said how long's a piece of string so I said roughly and she was like, I don't know, it could be three six months, six months, 12 months, I don't know, we'll just see what happens. So, I don't know, I guess that was my last run for a race for a while. I don't know if I'll still do gifts. I'll just talk to her tomorrow at training. But, yeah. Okay. So the fire, was that on very high? The fire sign is have, have been on very high, which is like the second lowest. That's how my sub Australia is. The highest is 